In September of this year, my birthday month, so get ready to support my birthday. It's her birthday. Yes, go shouty. So, um, yes, I'm just doing a lot of great things and just podcasting. Dish, peas in a pot, right? So, yeah, you, um, I'll be there. You know, you got to believe in yourself. I love this. I love the energy in here. Um, stay focused and don't be afraid to go after your dreams. And the last thing I want to say is be mindful of your subconscious mind. Hey, uh, what parents, is your wife's name? Call your wife. My name. wife's name is uh, Ruchi Goyle. I love you. Thank any, you. Any kids? No kids. All right. So let's get let, on three. Let's just say. Um, I will come and definitely I want to talk to you about my event that I'm doing for my mother that passed away really? on March 30th. Yes, so it's about women's health and it's about, you know, we're going to really get deep down about women. Nothing about men, just being able to get out so much stuff that they keep inside trying to be strong for men. You know, trying to be strong for our community. So I don't have to I love that. I don't know about anybody else, but it makes me feel so great when there is so much great energy in the room. Again, reach out to me on my page, Believe in Yourself video, with so that everything that has happened here is going to be on my page. So go on my page on Facebook and you'll find information about this event. And not only that, you can also call me at 212-714-7188. Happy to come out and hang with you happy to come out and do what I do believe in yourself people there is a higher power believe in yourself believe in yourself so that others can do what believe in you this is your girl for that out and over This is Tina Lee Jones, and you're watching Believe in Yourself video. Now, let me just say this. I think tonight was phenomenal. Yes. Tonight was phenomenal. Like, the energy. Oh. It was a different kind of energy tonight, but exactly. good. Yes. And it's just so funny. The common denominator tonight was what? Energy. And it's funny. Yes. This is what I say every single day. Yes. It's I move with energy. And this is why I don't like to be in places where the energy is not right. Because right. it doesn't allow me to breathe. Exactly. It really doesn't allow me to breathe. You you got to be in a space with people. And for me, I have to create. You know, I'm hosting and I'm El Ruby Thomas, also known as El Ruby's Talking Stuff on Facebook. Um, you can reach me at Ruby Thomas on Facebook directly. You have a lot of streams about finance and our current economy as well as opportunity, how to change that for yourself. But I really promote small business development and digitally. We have so many resources in each other. This is a phenomenal program. This Absolutely. networker, you Absolutely. gotta be here. Absolutely. People gotta get together and share what we know. I am a true believer in the mastermind. Absolutely. How we come together and from a different perspective take our thing to the next level. So I have friends in my business, same business, okay? We could do everything the same, but we don't want to. We want to be in our passion. So instead of being competition, we got something called cooperation going. Exactly. It's not a competition. There's enough for everybody. That's There's no right. need for competition. So we created and branded the word co cooperation because we cooperate. 
with the well, who used to be the competition. But no, we strengthen each other because, like you say, we gotta believe in ourselves. We gotta believe in ourselves, in each other, and the power of the communication of a group. Absolutely. That's what we're here for. So I hope that you come back with us. Um, we are moving to a new a new location. You want to keep up with Buy, Be Buy Black Networks on Facebook because it will be the place to find where we're going to be because when this moves, it gets bigger. And if you're looking for additional information, I ob obviously will also have information on my page, the Believe in Yourself video page. And you can find information on my page as well about where we're going right. and uh, when exactly we're going to do this again. But I think this I'm is going to still yes. be the, the uh, last Monday of the month. Are oh, we it's the same day. It's same, same day. Yes. Same thing. The last same day, Monday same of the time, month. Just a new location. And that's coming up. You'll find out from Claudette. And I can't wait. <laughs> I can't so wait. I'm excited, Ruby. And yes. in closing, what do you have to say to our beautiful people that oh, came out tonight? I have to say believe in yourself. I have to say connect with other people. I have to say love one another because you're amazing. And I would love to present you and present that about you because that's how I see you. And so the world will too. Like this and on, right that, here. Oh. on that note, I don't think there's really any more to add because Ruby said it all. Just believe in yourself. Absolutely. Believe in the higher power. Believe that you can. That's right. You have to believe in you. That's right. Thank you, Miss Ruby. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. My beautiful sister here. I have another beautiful sister queen whom I was was fortunate to meet last last month and she's back looking as fierce as she did before. What does your shirt say? It says gold digger. G -O -L. Gold digger. Yes, honey. Uh -huh. We are gold diggers out here. You're a gold digger. I'm a gold digger. She's a gold digger. That's we're all nice. gold diggers because we're making it happen for ourselves, honey. I love that. I love that lipstick that you're wearing. Is that a matte? It is a matte finish. Oh yes, God, absolutely. You know, everybody has their, their different things that they love. For me, I love lipstick. I, I, I just happen to love lipstick. It's one of yes. my... My favorite things in the whole wide world. It makes me feel good. A Absolutely. Feel and you give the girls the right lipstick, honey, she can change the world. She can be broke as hell. <laughs> but she got on the right lipstick, she look rich. That's right, baby. So tell us what bring you out tonight. So my name is Tina Lee Jones. I am an author, speaker, podcast, and TV host. And I have two t-shirt brands. I am the proud author of this amazing book called Gold Digger Tips for Millennial Women Starting a Business. You don't have to be a woman. You don't have to be a millennial to benefit from my book. My book is currently nominated for, nominated for an Author Academy Award for Best Beautiful. Business Book. Beautiful. God is good. Won't he do it? Yes. Won't he do it? Want to do it? So, if you're interested in purchasing my book and supporting me, you can find my book at golddiggertips.com. That's G O A L diggertips.com. Do you have anything? Any other? Uh, are you going to be seen any other in other place? Do you have anything coming up? to promote your book I mean tell us what you're doing okay so I'm gonna be at the Poconos Bazaar okay. on March 16th in Pennsylvania in the Poconos okay. and I'm currently writing my second book so stay tuned so follow me on all social media platforms at Tina Lee Jones my book will be out in September of this year my birthday month so get ready to support my birthday it's a birthday yes go shouting so um, yes I'm just doing a lot of great things and just podcasting you can check me out on my podcast tell us about that my podcast you is certified gold diggers.com and I interview women in business millennial women in business talk about how they got started I love that. I love what were their hiccups how did they overcome their hiccups what's new and next and giving out nuggets for other women so they can be supported and they can get help that they need that you know that they you know to move their business along to the next level I love that on three let's say women helping women I, because that's what we want to do absolutely right? absolutely I, well no let's say I am my sister's keeper okay how is that absolutely that's one go. two three I, I am, am my sister's, sister's keeper. keeper and one more go digger go digger <laughs> Make you look at yourself twice. They be like, you be like, dang! I wish I was. Am I, am I that? Am I that excited? And sure. And when you're talking with them, they're just making you feel bigger. 
Well, Ms. Tina Lee Jones is the most amazing writer of a book called Gold Digger. And I'll let her explain what Gold Digger means. She's wearing a shirt currently, but she actually embodies Gold Digger. And that is hard to say. When someone can write something that touches you and it just takes you to the next level. You know? So Ms. Tina Lee Jones, please do join us. That's some heroes in the room here. Me, Jesus, all this life. Oh, that mercy. Oh, my goodness. Hello, everyone. How y'all doing? Hey. So, my name is Tina Lee Jones, and I am an author, speaker, podcast, and TV host. And I have two t shirt brands. Yeah, I'm a pretty busy woman, right? So, I am the proud author of this amazing book called Gold Digger Tips for Millennial Women Starting a Business. Now, you don't have to be a millennial, you don't have to be a woman to benefit from my book, okay? And I've been getting rave reviews, five-star rave reviews for my book, how much it has helped people get their mojo back and, you know, help them get back on track with their goals. Like today, this lady, she, and she sent me a message on Facebook today. She was like, girl, you have to get my mojo back. Girl, you help me get back on track. Thank you so much. You, you're such a great motivator. This book is a page turner. This is amazing. Thank you so much. By the way, I have copies with me. I take cash and credit. Yes. So, um, and also, I'm very, very proud of this book because it is currently, this is all in my way. Ugh. The book is currently nominated for an Author Academy Award for Best Business Book. And so I wrote this book. The book first came out October of 2017. But how about the book is just now taking off? But you don't want to know why? Because I had to grow. I had to grow. So just, just, just as a message to every entrepreneur in here, your business is a direct reflection of who you are. If you're not growing, your business won't grow. If you're not growing, your career won't grow, your products won't grow, your marriage won't grow, nothing in your life will grow until you start growing. So I recently started growing, and Grameen had a lot to do with that. Grameen had a lot to do with that. It's a phenomenal organization. And when, once I started growing, once I really started believing in myself and self-development, that's when this book really started to take off. And I'm super, super proud. Um, I also have my uh, Gold Digger t-shirts for sale as well. If you want to, you know, if you want to support me, that would be amazing. So, um, once again, my name is Tina Lee Jones. If you're not able to purchase a book today, um, you can go to Gold Digger Tips. That's golddiggertips.com. And there's a code on there for free shipping. But you can get free shipping today. If you buy it today for me, I can sign it for you, baby. I can sign it for you. You can take a picture with the author and everything. And you want a book? Who else want a book up in here? Come on. Come on. Who got $20? Yes, God. All right. Once again, my name is Tina Lee Jones. I am an author, speaker, podcast, and TV host. And I have two t-shirt brands. You can find me on any and every social media platform at Tina Lee Jones. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. You got to believe. Many things, so many moving parts. I love this. All right. I have. I have a young lady who is. Yeah. I told y'all I'm in the tech. I love technology. I love people more than tech, but the whole reason I love tech is because I love people, since everybody's so connected to these little things. So, in that saying that, I get to know people from a whole different perspective, and this young lady that I met, oh my God, um, child, I'm so glad there's more women in tech, and at this level, she's playing at a high game. Her name is Aziza Brown, Woo! and she, she runs a, t a actual team of gamers, a woman-owned gaming company. Come on, 
Because most people think gaming and they don't get the depth. I know. <laughs> it's all right. You're going to be okay. Kind of look up. <laughs> but this young lady right here, when I met her, I met her through like a crowd of people. You know, all the guys. They're like, oh, I do this. I do that. And then she was like, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. They do it. All right. Mm -hmm. And then I sat down and had a conversation with her. They do all the front stuff. She's the one who puts the business smarts together, the marketing. You see this thing called Dynamic Focus? That's the name of her company. That logo has been all over the world. This is what she does. She creates gaming situations and puts that down in locations. I'm sorry, I can't talk about her enough. I'm going to let you know right now that I'm going to talk about herself. But I'm excited because this is what you call a woman making, making serious moves in an area that mostly is for men and not even of our culture. So go ahead, girl. Come on. Okay, so, um, hi, I'm Aziza Brown. I own Dynamic Focus. Um, we have two divisions. One is the pro team, and the other one is the content and creation team. So, to explain um, what eSports is, basically eSports is electronic sports. If you watch football, you understand what this is all about. But instead of, you know, football, you're playing Tekken or League of Legends or any other video game fronts, there is actually structured the same way. There's commentators, there's play-by-plays, there's commercials. It is basically the Wild West of sports right now. So that explains what my um, pro team is all about. My pro team goes out to different locations. We have been internationally. Um, I have been featured in Disney XD because one of my players actually made it through a whole gauntlet to get into the Injustice Pro League. And he made it there, made seven, I think. Um, and he got promos in, um, on Disney. After that, he was featured in the Mortal Kombat 11 reveal. So, <laughs> she knows. She knows. if you see the Mortal Kombat reveal and you know who DF Gurr is, I am his manager. I've taken that kid from everything to make sure that he's got his possibilities out there. Because he works hard, he practices hard, he, he streams, he does everything he needs to do to actually grow as a person. And I've worked with him. Um, we picked up other people. We picked up a new guy named Sane. He's for Soul Calibur. He is probably the best Ivy player in the world. And I, no one looked at him because he is black and he is gay. And they don't look at him. So they, I picked him up and we sent him his first tournament. He gets second. He, he lost his first round and ran it all the way to the top to the grand finals. Because he is a great player. So I am looking for other players, but as of, you know, as of yet, finances. <laughs> but then we have the other team, which is the content creation team. They are the marketers. They are the people on YouTube, on Twitch, they're on Mixer, they're on um, Snapchat because there's pretty much Snapchat chat now. Um, they do um, different radio shows and everything else. These are the people who push dynamic focus and they push marketing because that's where our actual money comes from. It's not coming from winning tournaments, it comes from marketing other people. So that's me and if you have any questions <laughs> So you can find me. Okay, here it is. So you can find Dynamic Focus, Dynamic with the K, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You did. You did something. I did something. Yes, you did. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Oh, those guys are nice. <laughs> okay, never say you don't have good lightning. Oh no, that's right. That's right. So I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. We're we're working on our um our videos there. 
and also on Twitch. So you can find us all over. Uh, we're on new media. We're the other new media that we're going through is um, Discord. It's pretty much like a chat where people come in to actually exclusively talk to you. So yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, if you want to know, and also the thing is, is that I'm going to start working on. Um, teaching people about these new platforms that you can actually use. Also, by using, um, also I've been teaching young people to control themselves online. Because that will bite you in the butt. Hard. Very hard. Like, people, like the thing with Doja Cat, when she, the thing she said 15, when she was 15, came up to bite her in the butt. So, How that's twenty four. Twenty four. These things are permanent. They're permanent. People click them, they find them. You can say whatever you want online, but someone's there on your timeline trying to figure out how to destroy you. Be careful what you say online. <laughs> All right. Thank you All right. so much for sharing that with us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much. So y'all got a little bit of what I have, what makes me excited about, you know, today. I you got me. So just come on out, reach out to me on my page, Believe in Yourself video with Claudette St. Rose on Facebook. I'm happy to give you information about this event or call me at 212-714-7188. And now, I am just honored to be sitting with a beautiful young lady whom I met tonight. Hi. How are you, my dear? I'm fine, I'm you great. Sit back. I'm trying. Sit back and make yourself I'm, comfortable, I'm like girl. tall and stools are just like a problem. Anyway, hi. Yeah. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, I'm it's fine. It's so nice to talk to you on camera now. We're on camera. Yes, we are. So for those who are watching, tell us who you are. Okay, my name is Aziza Brown. I am the owner of Dynamic Focus. I have an esports team, and uh, I have a division with pro t pro gamers and content creators. And so, Aziza, are you on social media? Yes, I am. Okay, how can people find you? Okay, that's Dynamic Focus on on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, also on um, YouTube and Twitch. I love what you do. If there was a young person watching out there and it just finds what you do fascinating, how can they reach you? If they wanted, maybe they have, you know, gifts and talents and they just need somebody to guide them. What do they need to do? Okay, you can email us at info at dynamicfocus.com and you can talk about what you do, um, what you what you like to um, if you're if you're working at the time um, unfortunately I don't take people under the age of 18 because of uh, my uh, child um, labor laws so okay. <laughs> so um, I do a lot of work on if, if you need help um, actually applying to different um, companies we do I have sat down with other people who went into our DMs and asked if they can join a team but I didn't have you know a space for them so I just told them exactly how to apply to other places and they go and find different teams that actually will work with them right so when you say teams as he said what do you mean specifically for those who are watching so they understand exactly what you do. um so what it is is um their esports orgs like organizations that help people travel to events um they help them with um they, they, they um, help them with learning about commercials, how to uh, commercialize themselves. Also, um, they help you out with marketing and streams and stuff like that. They sell their gear and then you get a, a piece of the profit. Well, that's great. But yeah. remember to reach out to yeah. Aziza. She has a world of information. And yeah. she can help you. Just reach out. And again, not under 18 or 18. You have to be older in order for her to work with you. Work with you. I, right. But I will help you learn about... If you're under the age, I will help you like learn about an industry and how you can do everything on your own. Because... A lot of times people do pick up people younger, but for me, I don't feel comfortable, but okay. other than that. All right, on three, can we say believe in yourself, you and I together? Uh, okay. One, two, three. Believe, believe in, in yourself. yourself. All right. Thank you, Aziza. Thank you very much.
And she's sitting in the same meeting, and I'm like, but she's like, how you doing? I, you would never know we didn't know each other. And that's how she is. And that's the energy she brings to a space and to success. She she will walk you into yours. Okay? And remind you, you you a success, just say it. And I'm like, all right, I'm a success. Okay. And then sometimes we need that person, you know? And we can be that person for each other. I'm so excited. You know, they I don't know why I'm holding this. I completely lost my pad. <laughs> they handed me a bag with all the raffles in it and look at they put a light. They don't lose it. I, okay, fine. <laughs> Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. Just make sure my winning ticket. Oh my god, my bad. Anyway. <laughs> we gonna get back to this. But I wanna let everybody know, so we've decided that we're gonna have to hold up because we have some exciting people to bring up. Specifically one. This is Debbie. I'm gonna tell y'all. I went into some people with some interesting businesses. And when I say interesting, they have to explain because that's just embarrassing. I blush. I ain't gonna lie. Come on up, Miss Debbie. Explain to them how you handle the sensual arts of everything. Erotic. Oh, I'm good. She's where you are. Thank you. Hello, good evening. Good evening. If you can hear me, clap once. If you can hear me clap twice, if you can hear me clap three times. Thank you for the folks in the back. I'm gonna need y'all to listen up. Thank you. Hi, my name is Debbie Maisha and I'm the owner of Central Energy Alchemy. I am a sacred sexuality coach. I work with women and men and couples, helping them to have better sex, healthier relationships, and orgasm as well. Because that makes for a happier life. I said that when I was listening. So before uh, my partner Sarah and I introduce the Black Tantra Group of New York City and tell you what our workshop is going to be about on March 16th, I need to show you better than I can tell you. So if everybody can, wherever you are, feet flat on the ground, you can stand, you can sit. You can close your eyes if you want to leave them open. You will be required to make some sound. Oh. <laughs> You're going to take five deep breaths, like so. <sighs> five of them. Ready? Breath number one, breathe in deeply through the lungs. Exhale with sound. <sighs> That's lackluster, y'all. I hope your sex is not like that. No, absolutely not. We are all grown here. So let's do this again, and then I should hear y'all. We're sorry. Okay. Let's, let's do it again. Deep breath in. Let me hear it. That's number one. Number two, deep breath in. Number three, deep breath in. Ain't no middle. Number four, deep breath in. Number five, deep breath in. You see the difference in your body? You see how you feel? That's orgasmic breathing. All right, Sarah is going to tell you a little bit about our workshop on March 16th from 4 to 7 p.m. Yeah. Hello, so yes, we are members of Black Tantra Group of NYC, and on March 16th, we're going to be doing much more of what Maisha um, shared with us. Um, we're going to be doing more orgasmic breathing, but we're also going to give you tools on how to be more intimate with your partner and take your sex to the next level without your clothes coming off. So we'll be exploring tantric touch. How to touch your partner and be close to them. Right? How to breathe with them, open up all your senses for play. Right? Everything that we do really should be playful. Because if it's work, then it's not fun. Right? And sex should be fun. Connection should be fun. 
So on March 16th, we'll be together. We'll give you breathing exercises, music. <laughs> there will also, <be, laughs> also be refreshments and even ways to connect with your food. Like we all sat here and ate and drank a whole bunch of stuff. But have you ever really taken a moment with your food? Yes, I have. Yes. <laughs> I take a couple more minutes with that food. <laughs> so yes, we're Black Tantra Group of NYC and we just want people like us to know that they have access to this orgasmic breath, this power. Because that's where everything comes from. Our sexual energy gives us life, it gives us power, it gives us energy and all this wonderful stuff. So March 16th, you can find us on Instagram, Black Tantra NYC, Black Tantra Group of NYC, also on Facebook, March 16th from 4 to 7 p.m. We hope to see you there. Thank you. We're all there. And so really quickly, Ruby spoke about energy earlier and she was absolutely correct. It is important that we are really clear on our energy, whether we are connecting with someone physically or whether we are connecting with someone emotionally or even in a setting such as this. It is important that we are aware of the energy that we carry, especially the people in the back who are able to listen to all of us talking in the front. <laughs> It is important that we're able to connect with each other and that's really what sacred sexuality is about. One of the reasons we're so passionate about this and bringing this to brown people is because sex has been very twisted in our community. It has been commoditized, it, it has turned women into objects, it has turned men into penises and wallets. And we want to understand and respect the fact that we are energetic beings. We are more than our body, and it is time that we got back to connecting with each other on a level that's beyond just the visceral, physical level. Although we're having fun with the sexual things that we're doing, we know that it does create an effect for you all. We want you all to connect on a deeper level than that. So you can find us at Black Tantra Group at NYC. You can also find me all over social media at Sensual Energy Alchemy on Instagram. It is not safe for work, but you can find me there. You can also find me on Facebook. I'm just being honest, don't open it up at work. You can also find me. You can also find me on Facebook at Sensual Energy Alchemy and www.sensualenergyalchemy.com. I offer coaching for men, coaching for women, and coaching for couples. Thank you. So much you. You Hello, sis. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? I am great. I'm great. I'm so glad. What do you think about our event tonight? This was wonderful. I was so glad to come out here and see all the entrepreneurs and get to connect with so many people. This is a great event. It's my first time. Yeah. What is your name, sis? Uh, Maisha. Maisha, I like that. Thank you. Tell us what you do. Tell us what you do. So my business is Central Energy Alchemy, and I'm also one of the founding members of Black Tantra Group of NYC. I am a tantric and sacred sexuality coach. So I work with men, women, and couples. I'll be able to have better sex, healthier relationships, orgasmic wealth, and happier lives. Orgasmic wealth. That sounds pretty deep. Yes. I mean, if you've got good, great sex and good money, you're happy. Right? So Absolutely. Great sex and good money. That's, right. <laughs> That's everything you got. It is. It is. So how can people find you if they wanted more information about your business? Sure. They can find me at sensualenergyalchemy.com. They can also find me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter at sensualenergyalchemy. And so you also do private workshops or what do you do? I do. Tell us about that. Yep. So I do workshops and classes that focus around relationships, communication, and also sexuality. I just wrapped up two classes on oral sex. It was really? much more than what people think. Classes on what? Tell or, us again. Oral sex. Oh. Yes, I did. Okay. I also, okay. <laughs> I also do workshops. I have a workshop coming up on March 16th with the Black Tantra Group of NYC from 4 to 7 p.m. here in New York City. You can find us on Facebook at Black Tantra Group of NYC or on Instagram at Black Tantra NYC for that upcoming workshop.
I love that. So, you. would you refer a few people to our upcoming event? Um, just stay connected so you know exactly when the next gathering is going to be. It's normally the very last Monday okay. of the month. Absolutely. So I would say, I don't know exactly the date, but it would be the last Monday in March. And we'll be back here, I believe. I'm not sure. But the venue and everything will be, uh, uh, you know, announced. Oh, well, I'm but, a Harlemite, so I'm here. Well, you would know exactly what's happening. But I'd like to invite you to join my page. I have a page called Believe in Yourself Video. Okay. I'd love for you to be a part of that on Facebook. Absolutely, I will. As soon as I'm finished, yeah. I'll grab my phone and and just tell a friend to tell a friend. That's Absolutely. what it's all about. This is what we have to do to That's promote right. ourselves. That's right. That's the only right. way. For us, by us. Yeah. So you know what? Let's say that for us, by us. On three, you and I. For us, by us. Thank you, sis. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Maisha. And you but as a reflection and or an example of what you and I should do, you see. We need to stack up and pull our pants back up and it won't hurt to create our own. Cats like C.K. Polo and Tommy, they should leave our homes. We're better off creating and supporting alone. Again, whatever happened to my brother, uncle, father, pal, cousin, friend. Whoa, whatever happened to the men who gave society its first civilization, taught communities how to be nations, did not build hospitals because there were no patients, you see. But whatever happened to that brother? Like Dr. Clark said, did he lose full traces of his historical memory? Well, I remember when uniforms were one of our best identities. We used to stand on corners and safeguard and protect our own communities. I mean, back then we had beat cops, they would come through, argue, or fuss. But today we got beat cops getting beat by cops for not busting shots at us. So I say, yo, my brother, why don't you put on this uniform and act uninformed and take your blocks back? I shouldn't be able to come from Compton, Brooklyn, Miami, or Queens and rob your houses, cars, and spirits clean. Do you know what I mean? Maybe you don't. Some of you won't. But I know what happened to my brother. He's been too busy financing his own genocide. And for those words, many of my brothers have died. Bye, my brother. Thank you. Wait a minute, mister. I say, whatever happened to my sister? You know that sister who used to be concerned? Sister was concerned in a way, you know, that she would wash, cook, or clean. She would teach the youth what's to be seen. Did not want a man unless he was rich, mean, or lean. Well, that sister was labeled goddess. Do you know what I mean? She brought man to this earth. She was one of the first to give birth to the offspring of God. And if times got hard, she probably never noticed it because she was too busy with pots, pans, or fish and grits. But whatever happened to that sister? You know, the one who used to meditate, chant, or pray? She received her blessings because she fed during the day and turned the kitchen into a courtroom and things got out the way. She sent the kids outside. Today, I ask my sister to please stop financing your own genocide. I tell them, yo, do your own hair and nails and stop fading your skin. I ask my sisters if they still love us melanated black men. I say, hey sister, tell me that you still talk with those spirits that sit in hush. Then show me, sister, that you're still amongst us. I say, rise, I feel you're here all right. It's like your lips match your hips and your fish in the grits. All that is mighty like. Thank you, because we agree with my sisters will unite one more time. Thank you. I'm very sorry right now, uh, there's no way to contact me at all. I'm just with five girls going around. Well, we hope to support you, okay. In the summertime, I'm in front of um, the Schaumburg. Okay. I've been in front of the Schaumburg right there um, in the summertime. Okay, I thank you. I my keychain there, the queen right there, she sells her dolls. I love it. We're going to be so Thank you for bringing her up. <laughs> because I was just here and you actually got to present the gallery. Oh, excuse me. Thank you for getting all the please have a good evening, right? Thank you. And thank you for blessing us with that amazing All right. So, my lovely darling, you've got a doll date. Miss Regina Dale makes dolls, which I have put in my order for one in my likeness before I got y'all. <laughs> 
I told y'all I'd be 133, right? Look, I'm putting in for all of my time. <laughs> long life and longevity and good living. All right, let's get to it. Hello, how are you, everyone? Hello, Hello. 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 Hello.
Did I say enough on that? No, you <laughs> good, you good, you good. You good. I, I could talk now, I could, I could be here for a few. But anyway, I'm not gonna take the whole time because I think we gotta share also That's true. Um, true. with everyone else. Do you so, have your dolls? Thank you. I, I didn't bring any dolls with me because actually I didn't pictures, even know. Pictures? Pictures? I have, I have pictures on the phone. All right, all right, all right. Yes, okay, yes, so, it, so next time. Next event. Next yes. event. So I look forward to seeing everyone at the next event. <laughs> and everyone, please have a good night. Get home safe. And uh, buy a doll. Buy a doll. Yeah. Yeah. You too, you too. Bring some dolls. I want to thank you. Buy a doll. Yeah. Once again, we want to thank everyone for coming out. We're not done. We're almost uh, at past the halfway point. I want everybody again to give a round of applause to our host, Ms. Ruby Thomas. I can't stress this enough because it seems like everybody's doing so many wonderful things and have so many wonderful connections that we need to absorb. You have to put your stuff on by Black Networking. I cannot emphasize that enough. This is why we're here. We're here to put everybody's product, everybody's second job, everybody's hustle, everybody's business, everybody's concern, everybody's networking, everybody's information that empowers people of color by black networking. I cannot emphasize that enough. And we will go to a bigger location come next networking. So we are growing. Um, and we need more space. And that's a beautiful thing. Seeing people of color who are doing their thing. And we're dynamic. And as you just said, we are awesome. But we need to know that within ourselves. See, we need to know that she specifies in a particular service that benefits you. We need to know that this system makes dolls instead of buying dolls that might look like us, but it ain't made by us. You know, we need to own our own stuff. We need to stop hating on success. We need to bond, unify, be all that our ancestors fought and died for. And this was before being on the back of the bus. This is before you had to eat being called an N. The struggle was strong and it was clear. We have better things to think about. We're not gonna stay here. So why are we comfortable? We should never be comfortable in our growth. We should never be comfortable in our teaching for our young people because somehow we missed the mark. Because I know back in the day, there's no way in the world I'm cursing in front of an uh, older person or a grown-up. There's no way in the world I'm not home before dark. Right? Homework was done. And not only that, the community was your parents. It wasn't just your mother and your father. It was the mailman. It was the neighbor. It was even the number one. We all shared one single purpose, was to take care of our own and to make sure that we are all good. We have to make that connection happen once again. You know, so, I'm sorry, Ruby. I just wanted to say one thing. So many dynamic women. We are going to have a women's conference, a women's symposium, a panel of women discussing women's issues. I want to promote women. I want to see how dynamic women are each and every month. Stay tuned by Black Network and you will know everything that we're about to do. I cannot emphasize again, please put that on. Because we are going to promote everything that you guys do. So once again, your host, Ruby Thomas. Come on, Ruby. How are you? <laughs> How are you doing? Thank you, guys. So Black Network happens to be a group on um, Facebook where we do share the businesses that we do opportunities as well as events. If you do not put yourself there, you will not be found by the people who are already looking for you. So I want you to start connecting with that network and each other. Okay, this is how we keep it going and we spread it out. I want to just bring one of my sisters up. She's been kind of waiting here and I kind of like her. I hope I get a gift today. She got little goodies here. I like goodies. We have a young lady who makes, who says it with a cup. Yes, yes. Isn't that amazing? 
and she says it very well. She got my attention. Let me show you why. I, I love this part. Let me show you why. I got it right. I did. I want to make sure. I got it right. It's say it with a cup. And what do you say with a cup? Well, right now we're doing images, and um, I'm actually part of Green. Um, this is Latonya Green, and I have known each other since my children were really small. Now they're really big. And um, she introduced me to the program. It is actually something I wanted to start a long time ago, but when you have kids and you're trying to go to school and you're trying to pay bills, who's got money? I didn't have money to start my business, so I got on this green, and for me, it has money. It's not free money, ladies. You have to do your thing. You gotta pay your money on time, but it's good money because it's not coming out of my savings and I'm able to actually work on something that I've been wanting to work on for a long time. So, by the way, there's a reason I'm holding this. There's a demonstration. <laughs> so say with a cup on mugs that I create the image and I have a graphic designer print them up for me and send them out. So they are red and white for a reason. They will always be red and white because red is like my favorite color and it's a power color. So they'll always look red and white. Um, this is, uh, this one is it's all about the shoes. I love shoes, I have shoes, I'm sure a lot of us have shoes we still haven't worn, but it's my mother's fault, right? Because when we were small, she'd take us shopping. So, it's her fault. So this one is set with a sh uh, it's all about the shoes. It also comes with a little journal, and this is a kiss. Um, I saw the image and I changed it around a little bit, and this is what I came up with. So it's something will always be red. The cup is always red and white, but something on the image will be red because that's what I like and I hope everyone else likes it too. <laughs> um, so we're just starting now. I'm just starting out actually. So my website is being built, but I can be found on Instagram as say it with a cup, no hashtag. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm sorry, it's been Robin, but it's good thing about it. Good one. Two woes, y'all. Two woes. And I just wanted to say thank you so much because she got me. I saw it. On, I saw that online. And one of my logos for my talk show it had lips. And you know, I was like, oh my god, I want those lips. And didn't realize it was a cup. <laughs> so I just wanted the lips. And I'm like, oh, now I want the cup. I'm getting the cup. And um, she has a thing with writing. She loves to have things where you can sit and write and sip your tea or whatever. So she put one of her cups with an actual, like a little writing pad. And at first I didn't quite get it, but then I thought about it. Yeah, we kind of do sit and write and you want to sip. It's kind of a nice little setting to push yourself into. Something quiet when you have to do something necessary. <laughs> so it comes like this. Um, and yeah, so I, I like journals and I go in the dollar store and I just buy it. If it's cute, I want it. So I'm like, you know what? Let me put it with a journal. So this one actually comes with a journal. I'm really looking at this one trying to think of what I can put with her. It has to be something different and unique. So yeah, so she comes with a journal. So you can sit and you can talk and hopefully I'll make a set. So it'll be tea time with the sisters and we all have. Thank you. Sure. Yeah. I just have to add, this is important, right? So Robin is also a nurse, but one of the things is that Robin is a marathon runner. Yeah. And she scheduled this Wednesday to go to... Tokyo. Tokyo! with Black Girls Run in Harlem, and I run with other organizations. I started like a year ago running. Um, it's therapeutic. Um, my A1C was high, and it's like, you're a nurse, how's your A1C high? It's like, I don't eat bread, I don't eat pasta, but sometimes a lot of our foods that are processed, 
that have things inside that we really should eat. So if you're going to eat, try and make everything. You know, you go to the store, you buy these things that's in a box and you put it in a microwave. I hate the microwave. I threw mine away because my kids didn't want to clean it. Oh yeah, it's going to dark. I picked a whole thing up to the microwave. When I came home from school, she like, mommy was in my court. I threw it away. You don't keep it clean. Like, you know, you know. So if you throw it out, buy stofers or whatever that is. Make it yourself. Go on Amazon, buy those plastic containers, prep your food. It's so much better for you. Um, so yeah, so I started running like, uh, it's been a year in June, it's been a year, and the lottery came up. So I was like, my first and I was like, let's see if we get in. And we got in. So I'm leaving on Wednesday. Um, the marathon is Sunday. It's my first marathon. So please pray for me. I'm not sure I'm going to a whole different land and people don't, they don't look like me and I'm a little nervous, but I know God's got me, so I'm okay. I'm going to be fine. But yeah, so I'm going to talk here for a week. I'm super excited. It really hasn't hit me yet. I think when I'm on that 14-hour flight, it might be. But, but yeah, so hopefully I can start and finish without any injuries. Uh, as long as myself and the other ones who start and finish, we should be good. Thank you. Okay, we have. We, we, got, we got to keep it moving, but I do need to make an announcement. I think some people have tickets in here. Y'all got tickets? Who got tickets? Are we, just, are we still doing tickets? Everybody got tickets? Y'all got tickets? 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 Okay. Okay. So, it's not going to happen just now. It's not going to happen just now because I have a young lady who has some things to present. She hit. I just saw her at the front and she just seemed to be standing by some stuff. And I was like, ooh, you're going to present that? You're going to show us what you got. <laughs> so I want to share this young lady. You smell really good. Is that part of what you do? Oh, because she, she smells really good. That was what was at the table. And I'm like, not trying to be all, you know, obvious. But I got to smell a little funk. Okay. Okay. So you gotta tell me, like, oh, okay, see, I like yours, y'all like yours. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna share, but we're gonna get ready. Make sure you get your tickets. The same lady's going around, Miss Paulette. It's going around, and getting those tickets and the business cards, so make sure you get in it. And I still don't know what it is, and I'm gonna get in too. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Um, my name is Sita Lewis, and um, I was invited here by Lawrence Van Miles in the back. Um, I have a background that is completely different from what I'm doing right now. I was in the television industry for 20 years. Um, I produced television for Black Entertainment Television, BET. Um, I was one of the creators of Teen Summit. I don't know how old you all are, but I'm 51 years old. And I'm one of the creators of Teen Summit, also BET News, Heart and Soul, I created, um, so I was a correspondent. Um, and then I went into the music business, and I got a deal with Def Jam, and I was on tour with a couple groups. Um, and then um, I rolled over into producing um, food segments for TV shows, because I have a culinary background. And... I rolled into doing, uh, I became a uh, contestant on a show called Food Network Star in season 11 and I competed there. Um, and then after that show, I started teaching culinary right here in Harlem at Harlem Children's Zone and teaching the children there how to put on their own cooking show. So if you walked into the doors of Harlem Children's Zone, you would see some of the cooking videos playing in the videos. Um, on, you know, on the walls or whatever. But anyway, from that, um, my students were plagued with eczema really, really badly. Um, and I decided that instead of teaching them a culinary um, recipe for a particular lesson, I was going to teach them how to make a natural, raw, vegan skincare product that I had always been making for myself because I'm very particular about what I put on my skin and I shared it with them. We made 300 jars for a Christmas project. 
and it turns out the ones that had eczema, their eczema was pretty much cleared up completely. Um, and the school encouraged me to take the product to another level and uh, turn it into a business. And because of my production background and I'm a complete perfectionist when it comes to business, um, I was raised by two entrepreneurs. My mother was a beauty salon owner and I grew up, you know, um, being the little helper in the beauty salon. And my father was um, a boxing promoter who promoted some of the biggest uh, boxing shows in boxing history. Um, his name was Butch Lewis. He passed away in 2011. So I have an entrepreneurial background and I took that and decided to create my own skincare product and it's called Mama Cita. That's the nickname that my father gave me. Mama Cita's Miracle Buttercream. Um, I didn't name it Miracle Buttercream. My friends who started using the product called it Miracle Buttercream because they felt like it was a miracle. So the product itself, the signature product that I sell, contains eight all natural ingredients which are composed of uh, mango butter, shea butter, cocoa butter, coconut oil, jojoba oil, castor oil, grapeseed oil, um, and nothing is cooked, nothing is heated. I have commercial um, mixers that crush it to the point where it comes in a creamy consistency. And I do have some samples that will be um, in the raffle and as many as I can give out, I will share tonight. Um, but my, um, my product now is being sold all over the country. All of my, um, thank you. I've never done an advertisement, um, not one. It's all been word of mouth. Um, I have people like Denzel Washington, uh, Magic Johnson, Wesley Snipes, um, all using my product, but besides the celebrities that use my product, the everyday people who use my product continue to purchase my product over and over and over again. And I've only been in business now for um, two years. Uh, I quit my, I had to quit my job July 2017. So I'm doing it full time. I used my own savings. I didn't go out and get a loan. I'm getting to the point now where I may have to do that. Um, but right now, I have exhausted my savings and, and the business is now sustaining itself. So I will go out and get money when it's necessary, but until that is necessary, right now I'm paying all my bills and everything else and the business is continuing to run because the, the most important thing I did was every penny that I made from my product, I put back into my product. Um, I got to the point where I started listening to my customers. I had a customer in Houston, Texas who told me that, oh, you know, when my product arrived at my front door, um, it was leaking. That one customer caused me to go abroad um, and get a whole new set of packaging that nothing can leak out of my packages now. Um, I'm gonna be at the Essence Festival this year. Um, I'll be at the BET Awards, um, BET Experience this year. I also just returned from South Africa and I joined a networking group out there called Banking on Africa. And they are really, I mean, they love American products in South Africa. And if we could just connect um, to people in Africa, they would love to, to get the products and help promote it on the ground. When I arrived there two weeks ago, they treated me like royalty. Um, and now I have people on the ground who are who are interested in putting the products in the high and um, hotels and spas out there. So it should be um, out in Africa very soon. So that's where it stands. Um, you can find my product at miraclebuttercream.com. I made it very easy, miraclebuttercream.com. All of my social um, media pages are Cedar Lewis or Miracle Buttercream. The product is amazing. I'll be 52 this year. I've been using it um, for the last several years. So you could use it from head to toe. I got a little too. <laughs> Thank you so much. Ms. Tina Lewis, come on now, y'all. Give it up. That's right. We are all 